Hey everyone, this is Alan from BMW Durham, back again with another video. We have another new arrival. It's my 2024 BMW M240i in Melbourne Red Metallic. All right, so this is the 2024 BMW M240i X-Drive Coupe in Melbourne Red Metallic. And I'm sure by now if you're seeing this, you've probably already seen my reveal video that this is my new car for this year. And uh, I have already revealed that it is pretty well optionless. The only option I added uh, was the Melbourne Red Metallic paint, the adaptive LED headlights to get this form factor in the headlights, and no charge option, 797M wheels. So let's walk all the way around the car. I know that I've had two purple Thunder Knight Metallic G42s consecutively since they launched in 2022 but as you can tell i'm a huge fan of this vehicle i honestly have a hard time justifying paying something for another vehicle when this one is available and it does everything and it does everything so good so why don't we take a look at all the details melbourne red metallic this is my first time in my life having a red car and I know that some of you were saying that my last video kind of made the car look orange. So I wanted to make this one inside in low light so you can see that this car is really red. It's not orange. Um, it would be cool if it was orange, but it's not orange. <laughs> so I went for an Econo spec this time, as I mentioned in my last video, because the uh, rate at which you can buy a Drive Your Brand uh, lease had increased by 0.25% which may not sound like a lot but it's a lot so it made it so that uh, my last car if I had spec'd it out the same way in 2024 I may not actually be able to even afford it so this was something that I could afford even though the payment was higher than my last car uh, despite it having less options so I have no shadow line anything no black exterior contents anything so this is what it looks like with the cerium gray accents on the front grille. Uh, honestly, <laughs> I'm not really a fan of it. I might end up wrapping it in black, but it doesn't look that bad to be honest. And down here, we've got the triangular accents in cerium gray. I'm so used to saying everything is blacked out here, blacked out there, but this is not blacked out. <laughs> now we also have the adaptive LED headlights, but they're not shadow lines. So I've got this big chrome piece here Got this gold strip here as well, but I wanted this form factor because I'm keeping the yellow LED headlights, which I will probably install before the winter because I don't think it's something that the elements will actually have an effect on. And when we come around to the side, you'll see that I've got the 19 inch uh, double spoke 797M wheels uh, in uh, matte black burnished with the blue M Sport brake. I think the red M Sport brake does look better, but it costs money, so blue M Sport brake is fine with me. And I did option the no charge, uh, non-run non flat performance tires, so I was hoping to get the Michelin uh, PS4S, but we got the Prelli P0s, which are actually really good. Um, I do like the look of this, and also I'd mentioned my last video as well. I've had the 791Ms, I've had the 893Ms, so now I chose a different wheel just so that we can get something else in there. And I also changed my valve stems for my last car. So I've got the 50 years anniversary valves, uh, valve caps on there. I've got cerium gray M badging on the front fender, cerium gray side mirrors, black window surrounds. Uh, now that my car is red and not so dark, you can really see that black side skirt. I think it, uh, there's just way more contrast because of that. And you can see that my daughter in three days of ownership has already put all kinds of fingerprints and stuff on my rear glass there. Um, we have no sunroof. So that's interesting. Uh, I don't mind that. My daughter minds it a bit, but it's not a big deal. New style antenna. Body colored spoiler because no M Sport Pro. We have Cerium Gray X Drive badging here, Cerium M240i badging there. That's the same as last time, but I just feel like it looks different on the red paint. Well, it is different, but it just looks different to me this way. 
Uh, I moved over my 50 years plate frame. I also opted no front plate on this one because the last one they did it before I could tell them to stop. Cerium gray, freeform exhaust, rear diffuser at the back. And let's go ahead and press the button on the key because I don't have comfort access because I didn't get any options. So open that up. We've got netted area on the side, grocery bag hangers here. I got all kinds of uh, chamois and microfiber cloths. I got the Meguiar's Ultimate Quick Detailer. And this side, uh, quick release to exit here in case you get stuck somehow. Close that up without touching the exterior, so that's all good. And you've also got, of course, uh, the release levers to fold down the seats up there so that has not changed since 2023 now if we come around to the side we're still looking for 91 octane we're still looking for shell v power that has remained the same and if i open up the passenger door here so i've installed the 50 years of m uh, led door projectors it took me five minutes you probably uh saw it in a video on my instagram on my reel we got the aluminum M door sill. We have ambient light on the door card here. It's kind of cool, but it just it doesn't really have any meaning. <laughs> we've got some storage space, cup holder, and we've got the hi-fi sound system. So I will say I blasted the music as loud as I could because I was getting hyped going to the Wu-Tang concert. And uh, the sound is good. I mean, the Harman Kardon, I can, I can hear it just way clearer, way louder. Um, but for me, this is good enough. I didn't get aluminum rhombicle trim, so we've got piano black everywhere. But I did not realize about these ambient lights on the dash, uh, which are new from 2023 on, I think, or maybe even 24. Piano black everywhere. It hasn't been completely ruined yet by me touching it. No wireless charger, so a bit more space. I've got some sunglasses here, courtesy of Sirius XM Auto. Shout out to them. We've got uh, two cup holders, USB-A, 12 volt plug, new style shifter. All the buttons in the center console area here have remained the same from 23. USB Type-C charging ports in there and it's illuminated. And I did get the Sensatec seats. So we've got power seat. And of course we still have iDrive 8, but it's kind of like 8.1 or something. It's not quite just eight. And why don't we go ahead and open the door on the other side next. All right, so if we approach from the driver's side, there's that uh, light on the door handle, which is nice. Uh, door projector down there. Still got that triangular pattern here. And uh, we've got memory seats, unlock lock. Still ambient light in the door handle, which is nice. Window controls. We've got some space there. Tailgate. I always keep a little microfiber here. And look at that, so no lumbar, no side bolster, no nothing. And let me just give you a peek at the back here. So as I'd mentioned in my other comparison video, we now don't even have any climate controls in the back of the center console. But back seating area is virtually the same as before. Still have an armrest in the center with uh, cup holders and there's also a pass-through through the center and a little storage area there. So the back seating area is pretty well the same as before. And in terms of this, we now know that this is rubber, not leather stitched. And this is what it looks like with no sunroof. It looks like you're in an M2 with the wrong seats. <laughs> and there's my garage door opener because I didn't opt for the universal garage door opener. And I have no head up display, no Harman Kardon which is all good. I got my Sirius XM air freshener though, so that's good. <laughs> Let's go pop the hood next. So two pulls, one, two. Once we come around to the front here, lift that up. And this is why I chose this car. We've got the beautiful B58, three liter inline six twin power turbo, 382 horsepower, 369 foot pounds of torque. We have your positive battery terminal, we have your negative battery terminal, we have your washer fluid, but this is what brought me back to the M240i. It's this beautiful thing right here. 
modern day 2JZ. Actually, I think the S58 is more the modern day 2JZ, but this is what's inside of the Supra, so. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below what you think of this car now that you've seen it in detail. And why don't we go start it up and hear some exhaust sounds and whatnot. Okay, I'm just at the back of the car. I got the key. One, two, three. And you know what? While it's running, let me just walk all the way around the car. I think it looks really good in red, to be honest. I do prefer the purple, but I have the opportunity to change the car every year, so I might as well try out some different paints. So now, let's let the car warm up a bit, and then we'll take it outside, and we'll hear some exhaust sounds. Alright, we are warmed up to optimal temperature. Let's do this. That sounded pretty awesome and just in case if you missed my uh, comparison between 2022 23 and 24 I just wanted to show you on my first tank in this vehicle I've managed to get 506 kilometers with another 66 kilometers remaining now don't get me wrong that was all highway that was all eco pro that was me driving very conservatively but it can be done Right, so that's that's the main point. I could have done even better, but I was ripping it a little bit a couple of times, but it's hard not to do that in this car. <laughs> All right, everyone, so that was my tour of my new 2024 BMW M240i in Melbourne Red Metallic. Let me know in the comments below what you think. I know that you guys already know what I chose, but now that you've seen it kind of in detail, let me know in the comments below. What do you think of my spec? Uh, would you drive this car? So far, honestly, I'm enjoying it. I will say one thing though. Um, I didn't get the adaptive M suspension this time. And so the car is always stiff. And honestly, it is a little bit much. I kind of wish I had the adaptive M suspension. Uh, Ontario, Canada has tons of construction on our highways. The roads are all uneven and bumpy. So uh, having that would have been nice. But honestly, for me, it's not a big deal. For my family, a little bit more. But honestly, uh, comfort access. So I did turn on uh, unlock, press unlock on the key to unlock all doors and unlock doors at end of trip so that I don't have to manage my key as much. And I also put the um, BMW app widget on my home screen so at a glance I can just see if my car is locked because I might forget because I'm used to having comfort access. So anyways, other than those things, pricing information is in the description below. The train is still trying to bother my video when I'm even far away from it. Um, leave me a five star Google review, it'll really help me out on BMW Durham's Google page. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.